Hello people of YouTube. I recently changed uh, from Vera as my home automation hub to uh, the Wink Hub or the Wink Hub 2. And I wanted to share with you what um, what it's like to live with, I guess. Uh, the main reason I switched was Amazon's Echo support uh, and integration. I wanted the voice control. The house is um, very well uh, filled with Z-Wave um, products. So I've got about 60 to 70 uh, Z-Wave products. I do have some Zigbee stuff as well. Um, and um, a whole lot of home audio equipment that's all really dependent on a home automation system to make it kind of sing. So uh, I'll show you the good and the bad. Today is an average day for, for Wink in terms of its response time and reliability. Uh, actually, I should say reliability has been excellent. Um, it always executes the command. The issue that I've had with it is the speed in which it executes those command varies. It has good days and it has bad days, and it has good mornings and bad mornings, good afternoons, good and bad afternoons. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It's all local controlled. There's no reason for it to have that variance, and that's really my only hang up with the Wink Hub. Um, the um, I guess the right to complain for 99 bucks isn't real high, so we kind of take what we can get, and uh, and we'll deal with it. So I'll just show you what uh, what you can kind of expect for from it, and we'll just we'll hit a few lights and that type of thing just to give you an idea of what it can do, and and again what you can expect to get from a performance standpoint. So we're in the um, master bedroom uh, now, and I'll just kill the lights that are in here. So Alexa, turn off bedroom ceiling fan. Alexa, turn off reading lamps. Okay. So in the master bedroom, I've only invested in two uh, Echoes, although I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, so I think I'll be buying quite a few more. Um, so I've got one just in the master bedroom for now, and uh, I've got another one in our main living area. And the main living area is very open concept, so it you know takes care of the kitchen and some of the hallways without a problem. Uh, even if, you know, even in, in a, this is a spare, spare bedroom. Um, from here, I can usually get it to, uh, to do, uh, to hear me. So, um, Alexa, turn off bedroom. Ah, shit. I forgot the name of the lights. No. Which one did you want? Uh, let's see. Spare bedroom, uh, lights. <laughs> I don't remember what the hell I named those lights. Uh, let's see, spare bedroom, yeah, I think it's spare bedroom lights. Uh, Alexa, turn on spare bedroom lights. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, barring me forgetting what the hell I named these things, uh, I don't use this one very often at all. This is just for nieces and nephews when they come over, but uh, if you use it, you kind of remember it. So, that's the other problem when you have 70-something devices, is remember what you named all of them. Uh, that, can, that can become a problem. Uh, Alexa, turn off table lamp. Oh, getting a little delay on that one. There it goes. So there's a good example. It was uh, maybe two seconds, three seconds, which doesn't sound like much, and honestly, it usually isn't, uh, unless you're going down a flight of stairs and you need those friggin' lights on. That can be a little annoying. Let me turn down the TV a little bit. Um, so we'll go through, we'll try a few other things. Uh, Alexa, turn on kitchen accent lights. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, all right, so she's slowing down a little bit, which um, that's the thing you just, I, I can't figure out why it does it. I think it's a routing issue with Z-Wave, but I never had that problem with Vera. Uh, Alexa, turn on sync lights. Okay. Yeah, dogging out. Again, not horrible. Um, what do you want for a hundred bucks, I guess? But um, when it's instant, it's awesome. Uh, do have a, a relay here um, that allows me to arm my alarm, uh, control garage. Actually, there's, a, there's another video on YouTube if you check the channel um, that uh, shows you how you can control just about any garage door uh, through Wink for, I don't know, 30, 30 bucks, basically. Um, and actually, I've got one of these. These are programmed to control those doors too, so it's even faster. When we get home, just hit the button, or you can tell 
Amazon's Alexa to close the garage for you too, which is nice. Um, program the audio system into this as well. So, um, Alexa, turn on home audio. Okay. It'll take a second because it's firing up some audio processors and a, a whole slew of amps. So there you go. Um, I'll take you downstairs just to show you what that is turning on. Alexa, turn on basement lights. So let's see. Uh, oops, have to close the door. Hold on. I don't know what the hell that music is playing, but that is some heavy, heavy country. Focus, you fuck. There's a the cat. That is uh, quite the leg arrangement we got going on there. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, there's the uh, audio rack that runs the indoors and the outdoor uh, audio system as well as the theater. If you want to see more information on uh, that audio video setup and this theater, uh, I have a, a much more in-depth video of, uh, uh, of the breakdown of this theater room, and this is all controlled um, through Wink now as well. Uh, I didn't bother with putting a, an Amazon, and I'm not going to put an Amazon Echo down here, um, because you're always listening to something in here. It would just be a waste of time. But I do have the touchscreen that controls the uh, all the room functions, all the, the lighting, and the uh, uh, HVAC. So, we'll buzz back up here. stairs are not my friend right now. I'll probably fast forward through this. Or maybe you enjoy hearing me go up the stairs. I don't know what you're into. Um, head out to our sunroom. Fucking focus! Jesus! Oh, I hate this thing. This sucks. Um, so we got an office in here. Again, speakers in every room. Uh, this is my bar area. Uh, the bar area has a ton of different lighting circuits. Uh, I've got LED lighting <coughs> under the bar. Uh, we've got lighting inside each of those cutouts. Uh, obviously, uh, lighting across the top here. We've got these uh, old out lights from an Outback Steakhouse and uh, a ceiling fan as well. So, uh, with three entrances, this is off to the snow covered pool. I swear there's a pool under there. Oh, you can see the waterfalls now. Um, so we get entrance here, we have an entrance into the house here, and then an entrance off to the front of the house out here. So running like three-way switches is just not possible to put um, switches in easy access. So what I did do is ran our, our um, you know, Z, uh, GE um, Z-Wave switches and then have... Uh, Pico, I think they're called. What's the remote? Pico remote? Something like that. Um, so this works really nice. Um, and actually, the top one controls the lighting. Uh, bottom one shuts the lights off. The two in the middle will control the indoor and the outdoor audio if you don't want to talk to Amazon uh, or to the Alexa to turn it on. Because usually when we're coming out here, we're grabbing a drink and heading out to the pool. So you just push the button, turns on the pool lighting, uh, turns on the fountains and all that stuff. Um, oh, that's what I forgot to show you. It was downstairs in the, the pump controls that uh, I made. Um, so that's the bar. You know what? You go down those goddamn stairs again. I'll show you the pump control system uh, that I that I set up. That might be interesting to some of you. Here we go again. So the good news is I'm going in for surgery in uh, another week and a half or so and uh, I'm not really going to be able to move. But in this house, that's not so bad. There's very few reasons I have to get up between the thermostats. We've got seven doors uh, on quick set 901s. Um, but anyway, here's, a, here's a, a control panel for uh, some of my LED lighting and pull pump systems. Uh, this is something I put together. This is actually a security box um, and uh, a couple of high 100% um, duty cycle uh, 60 amp 
contactors running off a bank of, of GE switches as well as um, the hell are those? Intermatic. They actually don't make them anymore. Intermatic CAs uh, outlets, and I actually have a few of their wall switches too, which don't require a neutral, which is really handy to have. Um, and that's about it. Um, if you have any questions on it, feel free to type them in as a comment at the bottom. I'll be happy to answer uh, to the best of my ability or give you some help. Uh, again, please see my other videos if you're looking for more details on the theater. Uh, if you're looking for details on the um, garage door openers for 40, 30, 30 to 40 bucks, how to do that yourself. Uh, there's a great video, I think, on that. You've had a lot of good feedback on it. So um, that's about it. I appreciate all you watching. Um, and uh, like I said, if I can help you anyway, let me know. Thanks. Have a good day.